Hello and welcome. We are here to talk about expectations from the budget. And we have with us today, Sameep Singh from policybazaar.com. Hello, Sameep. Hi, Siddhi. Hi. Very nice to be here. Very nice to meet you too. There is so much going on about, you know, uh, what what uh, what the budget will be like and uh, what uh, our finance minister, Nirmala Sitaraman, will speak. Uh, before I uh, dig deeper into the insurance uh, industry, let me just quickly ask you, what is your overall expectations uh, from the budget? Uh, see, uh, I think I think my uh, my personal expectation would be it will be a slightly more populist budget, something for the middle class, uh, you know, and uh, for the taxpayers because I think uh, uh, it, they have not, you know, they've not been catered to for some time. So I think uh, something around that would really really help. Right, and the insurance industry uh, is expecting uh, pivotal reforms uh, from the union budget, from the union budget, which will. Uh, probably boost the sector's growth. What is your view on that? See, uh, the insurance penetration in the country obviously uh, needs to be improved. Uh, in that direction, I think uh, what what people are specifically looking for is I think the ATC and the ATD limits. The under section ATC, you know, you can save up to 1.5 lakhs uh, from your salary every year. Uh, that has not been revised for some time. So I think that needs a relook. So more money, you know, can be saved. And, and that will obviously help in future growth. And obviously, ATD, that, that is related to health insurance, where currently the limit is for self, it is 25,000 rupees a year. And for, for your parents, people above 60, that is, that is around 50,000 per year. That also has not been revised for quite some time. And, you know, with increasing inflation, health insurance is becoming more and more expensive. So uh, people want to buy higher cover. Uh, I think currently... Uh, uh, people want to take more and more cover because recently COVID also happened. So the awareness has also increased. So if the deductible in that, if that, if that can be increased uh, under ATD, that would really help. Maybe up to 50,000 for self and uh, for people above 60, if it, if it can go up to 1 lakh rupees, that will be absolutely a game changer. Right, right. Um, right. I want to, uh, you know, talk about uh, key expectations uh, um, about the pension products. But just before that, you mentioned about uh, ATC and uh, ATD. Um, is it necessary, you feel, to expand Section ATC uh, deductions and add a dedicated category uh, for term insurance? Uh, see, ma'am, uh, the purest form of uh, life insurance is, in, in fact, term insurance, right? Uh, and term insurance uh, is, 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 you know, a necessity for all. And, and a good term insurance for one CR cover, you can easily get it for five, six hundred rupees a month now. Now, uh, on that 80% GST, uh, that's like uh, that's like that, that's like one one big dampener, and then also not having a separate category to promote it. That's the second dampener on it. So so basically, if we can have a separate section like like health, we have ATD something says like that up to up to fifty thousand rupees or, or maybe slightly lesser also because it's slightly cheaper. That will also re definitely promote uh, uh, term insurance and. Uh, that will also help increase increase penetration because I, in in fact I, I truly believe that uh, uh, to take care of you know people have dependence in in society in, in India specifically to cater to them uh, uh, having term insurance is very very important so in, you know increasing that as a se separate section would definitely uh, you know take increase uh, how should I put it increase uh, the acceptance for that right. Right, right. Interesting. Right. Um, let's talk about pension products. There's a huge uh, traction, huge, you know, uh, um, uh, curiosity uh, about pension products. So uh, what is the key expectations that, you know, uh, there should be tax benefits given to pension products uh, as NPS? What, what, what is the expectations among people and what do you expect? So see, expect? Uh, pension is a necessity now uh, right. and uh, people are living longer and longer. So they have the fear of living too long, right? That is one fear that, that they have, right? That th since better better health insurance is coming in, so they'll live too long, right? So right. they need income post-retirement. Now, to cater to that, obviously, you need to have uh, something to, you know, save for, for the future. And some some the government also needs to take some steps to promote that. So currently there is uh, under NPS, you can get, you know, a, a, an additional 50,000 rupees under ATCCD 1B section. If hmm. something similar yeah. can be can be done around uh, annuity products where you say start saving today and uh, get a pension once you retire a similar section or, you know, make it a part of that only that would really help people start saving for the future. 
Also, one more point uh, I would like to add from my side also is that currently government employees they can you know up to fourteen percent of their basic can be a deductible uh, for NPS. If if a if a private employees also that can also be taken up to fourteen percent. Currently, it's ten percent. So that will also help uh, promote uh, uh, saving for the future and saving for your retirement. These are the two key points I would I would like to mention. Right, right, and uh, I think everybody is very keen to know that you know what kind of benefits we can get um, through pension products because you know once your work life is over, that is uh, all you have your uh, pension Absolutely. to survive. Um, let's talk about MSMEs. Uh, any relief that you expect in the sector? See, MSMEs. Uh, so they take a lot of uh, see group health insurance. now now is a key factor to retain talent again with with covid just passing 3 4 years back everybody takes looks at personal health insurance as well as group health insurance when they when they take up jobs right and msme sector uh, even if they pay for the health in group health insurance they do not get gst input tax credit on that so so that is one big dagger an additional burden you pay the premiums you pay the gst on that and you don't get tax input tax credit for that so if that can be allowed and they can claim input tax credit for the uh, group health insurance premium the gst that they have paid on that that would really help uh, uh, you know increase group health insurance coverage for employees because it will be a, a a good step a positive step towards you know increasing increasing health insurance penetration and uh, a step towards retaining talent also if you offer great health insurance coverage uh, that can also be a retention retention bonus for for employees because you know they, if they go out they might lose out on such such great health insurance benefits right those are some very interesting views uh, samip what is your vision for the health uh, industry for the next 5 years see uh, health insurance uh, what 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 the vision is basically uh, what we at policy bill at least are trying to do is promote uh, taking more and more health cover because see with it with health inflation at at extremely high levels regular inflation is at 6-7% health inflation is at even higher 9-10% so health care is getting more expensive so obviously you need a larger health cover just right. 5 lakhs lakhs of health cover would not suffice for the future so here at policy bazaar we are trying to sell even higher health health covers maybe 50 lakhs 1 crore and and these are very very affordable so that is something that we want to promote uh to further promote uh, uh, our my ask from the budget would be that you know if to further promote that if we can reduce gst on that see because if you take a larger health cover obviously the premium would slightly go up and then paying up 18% gst on that uh, is is a bit of a dampener right so to promote that maybe if the government can reduce uh, the gst burden from on that from 18% to maybe 5% or or if, you know if possible just go away with it that that will be a great initiative to promote some insurance penetration and uh, uh you know secure india's future from a health insurance perspective right um right. if you ask me now um india will probably still remain the fastest growing economy uh with growth rate of 7% even imf uh, past week i think has increased from 6.8 to 7% inflation is more or less controlled if you compare with you know the other de developed countries um Absolutely. there are uh, policies that's being changed that's being upgraded uh several uh, new policies uh, government schemes are pro will probably be announced uh, in the budget overall if i had to see if i had to ask that uh, what is your expectations um uh, that where will india be indian economy be in the next 5 years what would you say see india india is the one of the fastest growing is the fastest growing economy in the world currently and india is the place to be i think uh right. we uh, what what my expectation personally from the budget and on on india's growth story is that uh, we will we'll grow very fast i think the next 5 6 years we 7 to 8% growth every year year on year would would really propel the gdp also and and the sensex and the equity markets in proportion with that so uh, in uh, you know india is the place to invest uh, and uh, Uh, the the sensex and the equity markets are are where you should be so because see if the gdp grows at 7 8% uh, the sensex generally in conjunction grows with on a sli slightly higher rate than that maybe generally it is like 7 8% gdp growth plus 4 5% inflation so it sensex generally grows at 12 13% so if that continues right. india will become one of the leading economies in the world and uh, a developed economy hopefully very soon and that is what what we dream to be 
sure, where sure. we want to be. We are at. almost sure, there. Sure. We, are, we are almost there. Yeah. Um, so uh, thank you so much, Sami, for being here. Um, and uh, let's keep a close watch on what's going to happen in the budget. Thank you so much for uh, joining. That was Sami uh, Singh, viewers from policybazaar.com. Thank you for watching. Thanks, Shruti. Thanks. Thanks. Lovely to be here. Thanks. Bye. Don't miss out. Follow One India for real-time updates.